Esophageal Candidiasis, Wikipedia Audio Esophageal candidiasis is an opportunistic infection of the esophagus by Candida albicans. The disease usually occurs in patients in immunocompromised states, including post-chemotherapy and in AIDS. However, it can also occur in patients with no predisposing risk factors, and is more likely to be asymptomatic in those patients. It is also known as candidal esophagitis or monilial esophagitis. Patients with esophageal candidiasis present with odinophagia, or painful swallowing. Long-standing esophageal candidiasis can result in weight loss. There is often concomitant thrush. Some patients present with esophageal candidiasis as a first presentation of systemic candidiasis. Clinical Presentation In most cases the diagnosis is established based on response to therapy. Patients in whom esophageal candidiasis is suspected should receive a brief course of antifungal therapy with fluconazole. If the infection resolves after treatment with fluconazole, then the diagnosis of esophageal candidiasis is made and no further investigation is needed. However, if the infection persists or if there are other factors involved which may warrant further investigation, then patient will undergo an esophagogastroduodenoscopy if it is safe to do so. Endoscopy often reveals classic diffuse raised plagues that characteristically can be removed from the mucosa by the encocope. Brushing or biopsy of the plagues shows yeast and pseudohyphae by histology that are characteristic of Candida species. A severe case of candidiasis. Nistatin is not an effective treatment for esophageal candidiasis. It can be used as treatment for oral candidiasis that occurs with the use of asthma pumps, other oral triazoles, such as itraconazole, caspofungin, used in refractory or systemic cases, amphotericin, used in refractory or systemic cases. HNE stain of esophagus showing candida hyphae within the lamina propria. The current first-line treatment is fluconazole, 200 mg on the first day, followed by daily dosing of 100 mg for at least 21 days total. Treatment should continue for 14 days after relief of symptoms. Other therapy options include Diagnosis Therapy <laughs>